on you guys welcome back hello community members overland bound members and friends if this is your first time here this is overland bound my name is michael the community corey and i want to help you outfit and explore because adventure is necessary so go ahead trade in that convertible whatever it is you got get a four-wheel drive vehicle outfit it and head out beyond the beaten path you will thank us for it. Now, Corey and I just got back from the Sierras. We tested five products. Some of these products we saw at Overland Expo West. They're some of our favorites, so we're glad to share them with you. The reviews start at this timestamp, but before then, I hope you'll join Corey and I as we head on up the mountain and find an awesome campsite. Let's hit the trail. Okay, what, what'd you get? Uh, this is just the, the Traveler. So this, this National Forest is kind of a luxury because they have uh, Emva maps aplenty. They have updates. They have multiple campsites, both, you know, OHV, just, just uh, dispersed. Primitive too. Primitive, just all of it. And then a lot of, you know, like family friendly. I mean, heck. They got a movie showing tonight at the amphitheater down the road. We can go see Lightyear. <laughs> you guys, this is the Summit Ranger Station. Ranger stations are awesome place to get your Emva maps and um, local information and local closures. Here at the Summit Ranger Station, right by Pinecrest, they've got all the trail closures and updated information. So stop by, get a lay of the land before you head out off-road or off-grid. Um, ranger stations are a great resource. And of course you can find ranger stations, other information, and emblem trails. That is motor vehicle use map trails in the app Overlandbound 1. Corey went up ahead and uh, she's walking around the corner to see what the road's like back there. I figure one way or another, she's either going to tell me we're going or not. Regardless, I can clear this log out of here. So I figured I better just get to it. Now the rest of this is just old school from a choker set in days. Gonna drag this out of here just a little ways back, enough to, to get through. This is our stop for the night. We could have rolled a little bit more and explored, but shadows are getting long. So we're gonna call it good. Get set up here and then maybe some fancy B-roll. Do you have everything you need out of your uh, bag, box? Are you sure?
know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah. Hello. Hey, this, everybody. This is What's going on? This is hilarious for We're, a lot of reasons, but welcome to our kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, so we're up here in the Sierras. Oh, it's good. Some of you would correct me and say it's actually the Sierra. Sierra. And I'll, I'll let you do your own internet search. Yes. Um, we got some fun stuff to yeah. talk about, right? Yes, yeah. it's another yeah. gear overview, gear review. Uh, we are sent things from time to time from different companies and we have a lot of fun trying them out. And uh, while we don't get paid for it, yep. we uh, are here to talk about it, to hold up our end of the bargain. We heard about some of this stuff at uh, the recent Expo West. Uh, we, we have some of the gear and, yeah. we, and now we're at the end of the trip. Okay, So, so we've, we've used this stuff during this trip. Right, so yeah. a few of the things I've purchased for us directly, um, we'll go through them. And then a few of the things we were given by, by, our, yeah. by our, our folks in the industry. Let's cut to it, let's cut to it. Our good friend, uh, Jerry, well, I don't yeah. wanna give it let's away. Let's cut to it. See, we have these reveals. We're not showing you what they are until we <laughs> okay, review it. Let's... Okay, number one, let's go. I think we can pull that off. This one? Yeah, let's, okay. no, no, let's just, here's. No, 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 just one at a time. Okay, great. Yeah, All right, we're gonna cut one... right to it, here it's we go. Got a... Okay, there you go. Okay. One at a time. This thing is awesome. So we've talked about this before. We've seen it at expos. We yep. were just out at, uh, I was just at Outdoor Retailer in Denver. It was there again. Um, so Dometic got us one of these to try. And this, for us, yeah. truly, like, truly a game changer for just just for me. And all it is is it is a water spigot. Now, the thing that makes it difference, different is that this is magnetic. It comes with two magnetic or two metal pieces that you can attach to any surface. So, uh, hold on, we have to I'm, look. I'm, I'm letting the dog go. Okay. You Be free, to. don't go too far, there's coyotes out there. To, you have to keep that in, okay. Yes, so to answer your question, Corey, yeah. um, in case you don't have a metal surface for the magnet to, right, to work this on, is aluminum. there's a nice 3M pad and piece of metal so that you can put that anywhere and be able yeah. to mount it. Yeah. So we've talked about this a bunch. The concept is simple. This is rechargeable. This, is a, this in and of itself is a great water jug. This is great. Very little... Um, free area to get air pockets in. That mm -hmm. means from, an, from a sound standpoint, if you do happen to have it in your rig, it sloshes very little when it's yeah. full, which is great. And two of these are exactly the same size as, as a, a gas jerry can. Yeah. So if you're used to storing that form factor, this will, will fit. So re really cool. And then two openings. And one of the openings is that big. So you just fill it with a hose quickly. It's, it's yeah. great. I really so, do like it. Yeah. This is a confirmation that uh, we've seen them at expos and we've seen them on display. Confirmation that it's a killer investment. Really, really cool. Check it. Or a squirrel. We have so much B-roll of this. Do we? Did I get <laughs> yes, any? Yes. I don't think I did. Okay, that's wasting one. Now. Um, no, we're going to move our way across. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. I okay. Can, uh, can so the next piece so of gear. Now, that the next piece of gear we're going to talk about is uh, Magware from Full Windsor. These I purchased when they were on, oh, I think it was Indiegogo. I don't think it was Kickstarter. Basically, they did a crowdfunding, crowdfunding round to get off the ground. And uh, this is an investment piece. <laughs> if you want to spend a lot of money on silverware. No. <laughs> However... <laughs> The packaging, uh, I, I place this in my everyday bag just because I like to uh, be a positive contributor to using less plastic in yep. the environment. Um, so this is this is Magware, when we'll have close-ups of it. Uh, it is essentially they, the three pieces of utensils snap together. And they do so in such a way that it is easy to 
keep the three pieces together in the past if you if we've had three pieces of silverware or silverware because we're so pinkies up we have silverware uh three utensils um they would inevitably separate and end up scattered in and near kitchen stuff yeah especially with the kids and you can just you can tell them like guys don't set don't keep track of your utensils and they're like and then they they disappear so what separates these from others is this ability to have them snap together and then speaking of the family thing uh, if you invest in the large set which is a five pack <clears throat> they come in five different colors and so what i like about that is if you have kids if you have more than two people i can say hey miguel you have orange orange is yours that's it. If I find an orange utensil somewhere in the truck that's separate it's from its from its uh, mates, then it's his. But he's 15 and he's super organized and just keeps his stuff totally. super Totally. You know, we on, surely haven't on lost. Lock. You guys, well, so some of this gear we say, you'll hear us say, you know, it's an investment in gear. Yeah. Um, a couple of things to say about that. One, um, Update your thinking around pricing yeah. for, for the sake of the folks who make it. Um, we'll, you know, we'll talk about it another piece, um, and I'll say this is the piece that is um, may seem expensive, but uh, it's made in the USA. Um, people have to make their, their money and their margin and the cost of materials and everything, so that's the state of the world yeah. we live in. And also, <gasps> keep in mind something that Corey and I... Yeah, it's and it's high quality. Otherwise, we wouldn't Super be high talking about it. Um, and then the other thing to keep in mind... And you'll hear Corey and I say this a lot. You don't need all this stuff. Say Corey and I would have gone out doing this overlanding thing and uh, it hadn't changed my life. Say we didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. None of this would ever have come into play because you can get out there with a duffel bag and your truck. Run with your brother. We've done that. And we've done that and, and really enjoy it. But if you're like, wait a minute, this is something I really enjoy. Then over the years, you'll accumulate things invest in things that make it even easier for you to do and that's what we've done over the mm -hmm. course of the last 12 years with this truck you know and this and our kit it's been guess, a 12-year process i guess we can't say that enough yeah um, exactly run what you brung and just get outside yeah now, so utensils we've lost enough to know that <laughs> anything if we would have just got these at the beginning yeah that's the other thing buy once cry once and you're not replacing yeah. it every two years so yeah. form yep. factor functionality um, I, I was able to speak to the uh, founder, inventor, creator, engineer at Outdoor Retailer. Solid, solid company. Yeah. Really cool. doing cool stuff. Okay, next on the list is uh, everybody knows, I don't know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I'm a coffee person, but I'm a camp coffee person. I probably have five different ways to prepare coffee. This is a good hybrid between pour over and instant. And you know that our instant coffees are, we'll do the Via. We have some yep. really cool companies that are doing cool stuff with instant. Now they, this is Wildland Coffee. They've kind of found a spot in between. What this is, is coffee grounds, not freeze dried, not the flash process, none of that stuff. It's actual coffee grounds that are in the form factor of a tea bag. It's very large. And what it allows you to do is boil your water, place your tea bag in your cup. I pour slow so that I'm getting the water through the actual bag. And then I take a spoon, uh, press some of the air out, and then it just sits in the cup and you want to sit it there for a good five to eight minutes. It's not, um, not obscenely long. You can go about your morning and come back to it. Then at about, I do the eight minute mark, um, minute about eight minutes, I take the spoon again. I give a good press down, get, just get all of the, the water through the beans, extract the bag. And what's left is a remarkably smooth, and that's such a cliche when it comes to coffee, it's a really smooth. smooth cup of coffee, no bitterness. It's like pour over, but without all the other accoutrements. Right, now I will say- I used a fancy word. You did. Uh, I will say that uh, if, you, if you want a dark, stout cup of coffee, stick to, your, uh, to, stick to your Overland press, your French press, use your grounds. This is a 
um, I'll say it again, it has a lack of bitterness to it that I really appreciate. This, this cup of coffee tastes good from first sip all the way through to draining it out. You know, it takes me about 30 minutes to drink a cup of coffee. So I'm, I'm stoked. The Wildland Coffee Team's doing a great job. Um, they, this is, the pouch is recyclable. They, the uh, tea bag is completely compost friendly and the footprint of the actual packaging is very small and they're good for a year. And I just have a lot of good things to say. Awesome. I have so many good things to say that these are available on the Overland Bound uh, gear store. I'm super stoked to be partnering with them. They're just a good piece of coffee options in your kit. Cool. Great. Great. Here comes the sun. Doobie doobie. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this quick. Sun's coming. Okay. Okay. It's a stove on a stove. <laughs> it's a stove on a stove. This is the rugged camp stove. Very cool. Here's here's a couple of reasons why it's okay. Yes, it's another stove, right? It's another option. Boom. Here's, it's, it's on. Great. Turn it on. Turn it on. Okay. I'm okay. turning it off. Um, I do it. I'm told. Here's here's what we like about it. The windshield is built into this. You don't have anything coming up to obstruct your access to the stove. The burner is huge. And what that means is you can have a pot, a large pot to simmer in the wind without worrying about the wind knocking out the flame at a low uh, setting. Yes. So <clears throat> this again, we'll have plenty of B-roll. Um, I have to stop saying that. Uh, this allows the air to move around and not through, and it's not a physical blocker. It's a really, really smart way to approach cooking in the outdoors with wind. Windshield that is low instead of having a big, yeah. uh, tall windshield. So that's, that's yeah, really so cool. Simmering, yeah, so simmering your meals. And you guys know what it's, what it's like to try and keep a burner going in the wind. Yeah. You need some kind of a, a block, yeah. Form factor for the case, yep. or for carrying it around, is this case. Yep. Super convenient, super simple, super protected, and Oh, uh, yeah. A fuel canister that is also small footprint. Yep. I love those little butane canisters. So I'm going to be cooking up a meal on this, uh, doing a little Father's Day breakfast. Happy Yay. Father's Day. I should have. Happy should've, Father's Day, y'all. I should have said that immediately. And awesome. All right, our last piece of gear that we're going to be talking about is... Super excited about this. The Tembo Tusk Propane Fire Pit. Yeah, really cool. There are a lot of options for fire pits out there. We've worked with Jerry at Tembo Tusk for a very long time. I think all the way back to 2015. Yep. Have a scuttle, it's great. It's awesome. Yeah, and we've seen him iterate and improve products over the past seven years, eight years. Uh, so this is a new one in his catalog of awesome. And it is a protein fire pit that has the smallest, let's talk about footprint and weight. I can't, I can't help myself, I gotta get it. No, it's Keep fine, talking. that's great. Yeah. It has the smallest footprint for the output. We had it on last night. We experienced it at Overland Expo. It is small but mighty. Small that's but it. mighty. Right there. That is the size of it. Boop. Yeah, it's great. And oh, and grab the grab the case. I can grab the case. I got it. Yeah, the so, uh, the carry case. It's a little. What I'll say is is there's a there's a very small trade off in assembly, meaning it's it's quite a few parts. However, that allows it to pack absolutely flat, and mm -hmm. to me, the trade off is totally worth it. So it, it it just packs absolutely flat. This this compresses down, but everything. Um, everything comes apart. So, you know, everything turns into a very a flat piece, flames. a little flame. It, it's awesome. It's well, so, and it comes with these, these, a little bag of rocks. Uh, uh, it helps retain you know, heat. The, the rocks, these are, the, the, this bag of rocks is probably about 50 bucks. Um, but I'm making that up. It's not true. Um, the, the rocks mm -hmm. retain the heat. You know, you put some rocks in there, they heat up and then they emit more heat. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's just a really great, a uh, really great fire pit option. And we will have these on the store too, just cool. to add to our Timbo Test lineup. Yeah. I'm very, very impressed last night. The uh, the propane to output. I scared myself 
because I didn't read the directions. Yeah. And when I lit it for the first time, I had quite a bit of gas coming through. It was a torch. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> super smart design made yeah. in the USA, Jerry. Good job. Good, Good job. job on this one. It's great. We'll be yeah. using it quite a bit. Yep. So that's our yeah. that's our next wave of gear roundup right before yeah. the official start of summer too. Yeah. So we have to right, to summarize. We have the Dometic uh, electric water spigot with the magnet and yep. the awesome water jug. If anything, just getting the water jug is totally acceptable. Yep. The Magware magnetic utensils. We have Wildland coffee mm -hmm. in the tea bag form factor. Mm -hmm. We have the rugged stove. And we have the Timbo Tusk propane gas. Pit yeah, this is one pit. of my this is one of my faves right here. Yeah, this is this is cool. Yeah. All right, you guys. Cool. Hey, hopefully you guys are planning an adventure. I'm so glad um, we put this thing to use finally. Yeah, absolutely. Truly for what it was built to do, which yeah. is display products. Right. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. We we uh, so yeah we said stove on a stove. This is our stove underneath. Uh, we used it last night. It was it was absolutely. Oh yeah. Great. More more on that. Quick. Yeah. More more on more on that. You guys. Um, uh, you know, hey, gas prices, you're probably looking oh, a little God, bit yes. closer, closer to home for your adventures. Um, overlandbound.com, look at the events. Uh, a lot of, um, um, a lot tire, of trail runs and yeah, a lot of, of trail outs. runs, a lot of, um, kicking the tires, getting ideas, uh, meeting folks who are also interested in going out there and exploring, uh, near you. So, oh, and if, if there isn't one near yeah. you. Reach organize, out. yeah, reach out to us and we'll help you we'll get help one you together. One, yeah. And again, just meeting at a coffee shop on a Sunday morning, pop the hood, kick tires. That's where a lot of people get the most value yeah. because you're getting face to face and you're getting real feedback yeah. on on doing the thing. Yeah, meeting people. Getting the gear, Yep. figuring out where you're gonna go. All yeah. right, so hopefully Anyways. you guys are, are planning an, an adventure yep. and we'll see you out there on the trail. Yeah, if you liked this, like and subscribe. Yep, do all the things. We do a lot of this stuff. All right, you guys. All right. See you on the trail. Bye.